So guys, I have finally decided to make the Zombie Mods Weekly Series. And with this series, I'm going to take any Call of Duty Zombies mod, whether that be from Custom Zombies or even Advanced Warfare Zombies. That would be horrible. But anyways, we're going to take these mods and put them into one video. And I'm going to be making a series out of this. And I hope you do enjoy. Now, I'm naming this Episode 0 just because I don't know if you guys will like it. So if you want to see more of this awesome idea of a series, please drop a like uh, if we get over 5,000 likes I will definitely make the first episode I guess you could say and with the announcement of zombie mods weekly series I'm going to have to put the ripperoni on the GTA 5 mods weekly series <laughs> without further ado guys let's head down straight into the video <gasps> Okay, our first mod is going to okay not that our first mod is come on now our first mod is going to be there we go it's going to be the peter's grave vex mytho class now this was created by one of my good friends roll on math 42 and this is an exclusive mod for shino numa and basically if you don't know peter's the guy who tried to rid all of the 935 bullshit of rick coffin and he came in and he tried and he died unfortunately but there is the dig up so you have to look around the map on shino numa for and there are 12 dig up spots scattered around the map now they will always be on the swampy grounds area they will never be inside the hut or on a wooden surface and you may be asking me guys mr tilaxify why don't we need a shovel to pick up these origins dig spot and this is what i say to you you're nikolai you're takio you're Dempsey, and you're Ictofen. That was in the past. That was in the origins of zombies. Nowadays, we just go into the earth. We grab it with both hands, and we rip what's ours. We take back what we want, guys. And that is the Vex Mythoclass exotic weapon, non-legendary. Now, I know in one of my last videos, you guys gave me shit for calling this weapon a legendary. Every damn comment ingraining further and further into my mind until it just didn't come out before finally here i pick up the vex mytho class and look at the render of it i swear i could see a newborn baby there because it looks absolutely beautiful now the problem is with this mod is unfortunately sometimes if you do change your point of view uh, like i do right here it, it makes the ads look a little bit off as you're not actually looking inside the scope which is not how it should be but look at the slow reload guys unbelievable absolutely beautiful harness the energy to Take it all in. But anyways, if you've ever wanted a Raygun Mark III, I'd say this is your closest chance of getting one. The automatic rifle sounds of the beautiful Vex Mythoclass shooting yellow Raygun bullets. I'd say it's absolutely beautiful, but mod tutorial and download down in the description. Remember those nostalgic days when all you would want to become as a kid was a cowboy slinging those dual wheeled pistols as you would go around like Clint Eastwood fighting those bad guys. It was amazing. Was that just me? I don't know. But in this map, this is Nuketown 1886, bringing back some awesome favorites like the PPSH, the Rega Mark II, the Death Machine, the Remington New Model Army, Buffed Up Olympia and SMR, and even bringing back perks that always stay on the map for damn sake stamping up pack a punch and it is unbelievable in my opinion this is the nuke town redefined and re-innovated to become a better version of what it was supposed to be originally we even got a pack a punch camels that are the same viable endings and guys this is the best part we have a juggernaut on round one but jokes aside guys, this map really does polish what Nuketown had in its faults. The problem with Nuketown was that it was a very hard map for beginners, and if you're a beginner zombies player, this is the best map for you to play on. It's small enough so that you can become better at zombies, but it's also not too hard in the way that Nuketown is, where you might not even get Juggernaut till round 20. Here it's always going to be there for you, you've got all the perks here, you still got the hard viable doors around, and I just love Nuketown town as a zombies map in general definitely go check this out and if you ain't downloaded it now what the hell are you doing it you do it Banana. Banana. <laughs> 
you remember the last scary Call of Duty Zombies map? Because I sure don't. This is Z Hunter Z, with an awesome array of mystery box weapons ranging from the Honey Badger and Ghost to the PPSH from World at War, there is surely something in this map to give you a fright, with soul boxes giving you free thunder guns and dead men boozed up on juggernaut and hanging men and too much booze, you know, it's just absolutely crazy. And the scariest part of all is the maze. I don't know, dude. Yo, uh, press like, X, hold X. Oh, it's oh it's like God. the five. Oh, oh, what was the jump scare? Oh, this map should not be played by the light of heart because it will surely give a great scare. One of the awesome new scary factors to this map is the beneficial perk, Guardian Angel Ale. For 7,000 points, have a guardian keep you away from this hellhole for a temporary amount of time by giving it so that you will be immune to hits by the devilish creatures, zombies themselves. And try to pack a punch if you will, but they will still come. And even with those beautiful, badass, custom pack-a-punch camos, they will still crawl at the walls listening to the blood, the sounds of what you want to hear, they will distort your memories, distort what you have dear to you, and this is all thanks to the man, the myth, the legend himself, striking Let's Plays. Just because you've done that, I'm gonna shout out my YouTube channel, so go check out Striking Let's Plays. Yeah, yeah. Now this map is not too scary, don't worry, if you don't like jump scares or if you have some sort of hard problem I can completely understand, I would still recommend play this map, just do not go into the maze, whatever you do, do not go into the maze, it will be the end of you as you guys have already saw. There are a lot of funny factors such as each character you play as is very different in its own way, for example you can either play as Joan of Arc, Deadpool, Captain America, or Ratchet and Clank, I know it is some weird stuff, it is really funny but I definitely like the funny aspect of this map even though it's probably one of the creepiest that I've played in a while definitely go check this out go download it it has a lot of new interesting stuff like the Shinonuma swing it's got a lot of awesome features that a lot of don't maps tend to put in and they are too lazy to put in in my opinion so just go check it out you need to check it out check it out check it out check it out but anyways thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy Please make sure to leave a like. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you.